was the date for the revolution? Now we're just... 14th February. 14th February. Oh, that's good. 14. Oh, of course. It's the same... No, it's the 13th. You say it's the 13th. I say it's the 13th because I'm talking about yesterday, but it is the 14th. He's right, but I don't say 14th. So, we're in the revolution now. We're... We're in the revolution, are we? Oh, yes, okay. Okay. <clears throat> yes, but... Are you ready? Yes. Something can only be achieved through the army. Certainly, but it was coming, only he could not say more. Certainly, if it didn't come quickly, then the Jews were in great danger. I absolutely had to remove myself immediately. I could come to his office, he would provide a room. He could not help everyone. He had obligations to his family. If need be, he would have to disavow me. In between, there was a telephone call from someone whom he addressed a dozen times as Ke Comrade Captain and greeted with Heil Hitler. But after all, he had got to know me over the months and he would so much like to help me. Now, this very definite statement from a very calm, circumspect man who is at the center of Aryan life and has considerable contact officially with the party. The man's whole behavior made it obvious to me that he knew more than just a rumor that something must be underway involving the moderate working class, the bourgeoisie, and the army. What's the date? February 20th. <coughs> February what? 20th. February 20th. My spirits were raised again by Richter, whom I met this morning as arranged. Richter spoke again of the expected, uh, of the anticipated disturbances, but in greater detail this time. He said they could definitely begin in Berlin and on the coast. Whether sooner or later, he could not say. If I got a card from him, call me about your property, then I should get a hold of him immediately. He set forth a plan to save us, which is already well advanced. I feel like I'm in a wild adventure, a revolution film. A detached house by the railway station, said Richter. I could reach it on foot. Is what he hints at true? That's oh no. Yesterday evening in Wormser Straße. An older worker, as far as I could discern in the twilight, cycles right up to me from behind and says in a kind, fatherly voice, things will turn out differently in the end, won't they, comrade? Let's hope very soon. And which he circles back and into a side street. Twenty third of June. On Fridays, as is now usual, Eva, after announcing her call in writing, was to pick up the fifty mark and the promised four pounds of bread coupons from Richter, as well as hear his opinion of the situation. His secretary explained Richter had already been in prison for four weeks and no one knew why or who had denounced him. My first reaction was to be almost quietly pleased or amused that my protector and guardian was now worse off than myself. That 
Arians too were personally experiencing the hand of tyranny, that indeed it was a sign of weakness that this tyranny was ever increasing. But then I was tormented by what this arrest meant for us. Less bread coupons, less extra money, the house in great danger. I do not need to add that there is pity for Richter and that this pity is hideously blunted. Yet Richter's life is unquestionably at stake. If he, if he is involved in a matter of high treason, then as he himself knows, the guillotine is awaiting for him in a courtyard on Münchner Platz. Yesterday, Sunday afternoon, on the back, oh, while coming back from the cemetery, an older gentleman, uh, 70s, a white goatee, he crosses Lothringer Straße towards me, holds out his hand, and says with a quiet solemnity, I saw your star, and I greet you. I condemn this outlawing of a race, as do many others. I said, thank you very much, but um, you, you must not talk to me because it could cost me my life and put you in prison. He said, yes, but he wanted to say it, and he had to say it to me. The chorus? of the voices of the people? Which voice is dominant and will prevail? That's it. This is the first time that I put this off. <sighs> okay. Is everybody ready? Everybody ready? Hello? Anybody out there? Yes, we're here. We're ready. And you have to speak up. Okay. Eleventh September. A consolation almost is the visit I paid to our new house trustee, the Aryan lawyer Richter. I had no reason to expect anything but a bloodhound. Instead, I encountered a secret ally. That is how much the party can now rely on its chosen people. Richter, a man in his thirties, shook my hand, said he would like to help me. He was aware of our inhuman situation. I said it was very important to me to keep the house. Again pleaded my heart problem and the interests of my Aryan wife. But I said, it cannot last so very long anymore. I do not believe the house will be saved, but the man's attitude did me good. Richter informed me that a master builder called Linke has assumed my mortgage, happy about the 6%, which you can only get from a Jew. If there are no new laws, the house remains yours. 
But much more interesting to me than this information was what Richter said about the general situation. I have to stop. Uh, it's okay. uh, what are all the signals meaning? Okay. Eleventh of September, a consolation almost is the visit I pay to our new house trustee, the Aryan lawyer Richter. I had no reason to expect anything but a bloodhound. Instead, I encountered a secret ally. That is how much the party can now rely on its chosen people. Richter. A man in his thirties shook my hand, said he would like to help me. He was aware of our inhuman situation. I said it was very important to me to keep the house. Again, pleaded my heart problem in the interests of my Aryan wife. But I said it cannot last so very long anymore. I do not believe the house will be saved, but the man's attitude did me good. Richter informed me that Linker, a master builder, has assumed my mortgage happy about the 6%, which you can now only get from a Jew. If there are no new laws, the house remains yours. But much more interesting to me than this information was what Richter said about the general situation. 90% of all Germans know that victory is impossible, that no peace will be made with this government. Who is still content? Not even the little party bosses, the bloc leaders. The people will sweep the government away. Hunger impels it. But when? Uh, the SS has been strengthened. The SS is really a force for a civil war. He was appalled. The swine, the dirty dogs, when I told him about our house searches. He wanted, but I refused to give me a piece of shaving soap. And yet, I must strictly keep my distance from you. Of course, Herr Richter. You have a wife and child. You are quite innocent. No one in Germany is innocent. Why have we tolerated this regime for so long? I said I was as certain of a collapse in the not too distant future. Only I feared a general pogrom before the debacle. He did not contradict me. He bade me farewell with a kind of emotional solemnity as if I were departing for the Russian front. I must single out yesterday, Saturday, 13th of February, as a Especially important, it brought the first sign and almost certainty that the revolution I believed impossible is brewing inside Germany. At Richter's, we talked for more than an hour in his private office. He was even more friendly, urgent in his friendliness than on previous meetings. How could he help me? I should tell him everything. He telephoned his wife. How large was her surplus of potatoes? We agreed to meet again next Saturday when I shall get from him money, potatoes, extra uh, bread coupons. But much more important than this was something else. Richter came back to it again and again. Where will you go if disturbances break out? You absolutely must remove yourself to the country. Immediately there could be massacres here. He could provide a room, a kind of emergency place. I asked him bluntly, what was he expecting? In the course of the next 12 months, there will definitely be a revolution. From the right? No, from the left. But the bourgeoisie is afraid of communism. From the old social democrats. He knew it. 
for certain, but something could only be achieved through the army, certainly, but it was coming, only he could not say more, certainly if it didn't come quickly, then the Jews were in great danger. I absolutely had to remove myself immediately to the country. He could provide a room. If I came to his office, he would give me a room. He could not help anyone, everyone. He had obligations to his family. In between, there was a telephone call from someone who he addressed a dozen times as comrade, captain, and greeted with Heil Hitler. But after all, he had got to know me over the months, and he would so much like to help me. Now, this very calm statement from a very calm, circumspect man who is at the center of Aryan life and has considerable contact officially with the party. The man's whole behavior yesterday made it clear to me that he knew more than just a rumor that something must be underway involving the moderate working class, the bourgeoisie, and the army. 20th of February, my spirits were raised again by Richter, whom I met this morning as arranged. Richter spoke again of the anticipated disturbances, but in greater detail this time he said he could definitely, they could definitely be expected to begin in Berlin and on the coast, whether sooner or later he could not say. If I got a telephone call, for, if I got... <coughs> Twentieth of February, my spirits were raised again by Richter, whom I met this morning as arranged. Richter spoke again of the anticipated disturbances, but in greater detail this time. He said they could definitely be expected to begin in Berlin and on the coast. Whether sooner or later, he could not say. If I got a postcard from him, Call me about your property. I should get a hold of him immediately. He set forth a plan to save us, which was already well advanced. I, I feel like I'm in a wild adventure or revolution film. A detached house by the railway station, said Richter. I could reach it on foot. Is what he hints at true? Yesterday evening, an older worker, as far as I could discern in the twilight, cycles right up to me from behind and says in a kind, fatherly voice, but things will turn out differently in the end, won't they, comrade? Let's hope very soon, at which he circles back and into a side street. Twenty-seventh of June, Eva, on Fridays, as is now her custom, after announcing her call in writing, was to pick up the 50 marks and four pounds of bread coupons from Richter, as well as hear his opinion of the general situation. His secretary explained Richter had already been in prison for four weeks. No one knew why or who had denounced him. My first reaction was to be almost quietly pleased or amused that my protector and guardian was now worse off than myself. That Aryans too were personally experiencing the hand of tyranny, that indeed it was a sign of weakness that this tyranny was ever increasing. But then, I was tormented by what this arrest meant for us. Loss of bread coupons, loss of extra money, the house in great danger. 
I do not need to note that in addition to all of this, there is pity for Richter, and that this pity is hideously blunted. And yet Richter's life is unquestionably at stake. If he is involved in a matter of high treason, then as he himself knows, the guillotine is waiting for him in a courtyard on Münchner Platz. Twentieth of September. Eva was at the office of Richter's. He is no longer in the police prison. He has been taken to Buchenwald concentration camp. Sunday afternoon, I was returning from the cemetery. <laughs> An elderly gentleman, 70, uh, a white goatee, crosses Lotingerstrasse towards me, holds out his hand, and with a quiet solemnity says, I saw your star and I greet you. I condemn this outlawing of a race, as do many others. I said, well, that's very nice, uh, very kind, but uh, you mustn't talk to me. You, you, uh, I, 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 it could put me into a camp and you into a prison. Yes, but I wanted to say it, and I had to say it to you. Chorus of the voices of the people. Which voice will dominate? Which voice will be decisive? We're taking it from any book involving Avers was at the office of Richter. was just before that? Oh, yes. Then as he himself knows. So let's, I'll, I'll run into it from there, okay, Gary? Tell me when. Yes? But Rita's life is unquestionably at stake. If he is involved in, in a matter of high treason, then as he himself knows, the guillotine is waiting for him in a courtyard in Münchner Platz. But Richter's life is unquestionably at stake. If he is involved in a matter of high treason, then as he himself knows, the guillotine is waiting for him in a courtyard on Münchner Platz. Twentieth of September. Eva was at the office of Richter's. He 
He's no longer in the prison camp. He has been taken to Buchenwald concentration camp. On Sunday afternoon, as I was returning from the cemetery, an elderly man a white goatee, a retired civil servant, crosses Lotinger Straße towards me, holds out his hand and says, with a quiet solemnity, I saw your star and I greet you. I condemn this outlawing of a race, as do many others. I said, well, that's very kind, but you must not talk to me. It could cost me my life and put you in prison. Yes, but he wanted to say it, and he had to say it to me. The chorus of the voices of the people. Which voice is dominant and will be decisive. of the people which voice dominates and will be. <sighs> A chorus of voices of the people which voice dominates and will be decisive 